This video is a little bit different from what I've been doing recently, but this is just a personal interest of mine, and I'm hoping there'll be a few others out there that find this interesting as well. So as you know, I really like collecting stuff. So the other day I was watching old clips from one of my favourite TV shows, Doctor Who, and in this 2005 episode they stumble upon an alien museum full of alien artefacts that have been gathered from around the universe. A great big museum. An alien museum. And one of those artefacts was this Cyberman mask. And since I saw that blue Cyberman mask sat in that glass box, my stupid brain's got a fixation on wanting it. <laughs> so I started doing a bit of research. All I was really finding was stupid toy plastic ones on eBay. And then I found this homemade one, which maybe we'll put on the back burner for now. But then I found this, a 2005 BBC News article talking about a Cyberman helmet that went up for sale at a TV memorabilia auction. They didn't say how much the mask went for. They didn't say who bought it. I will say that I have emailed the auction company. They've not got back to me just yet with my inquiry about something they sold. 15 years ago, but fingers crossed. But then I found this website. Now, if you're not interested in Doctor Who, that doesn't matter. There are websites out there that sell props from TVs and films, and I had absolutely no idea. Now, it was Doctor Who that I was particularly interested in. So look at these three Cyberman masks. An original screen-used Cyberman helmet and chest unit from the cult BBC television series Doctor Who. This helmet and chest were made for the classic 1982 episode Earthshock. How cool would it be to actually own something from, you know, one of your favourite TV programmes? So in this video, we're basically going to have a look at the various pieces of memorabilia and genuine props used in a variety of TV programs and films. And hey, you might notice a couple of extra mid-rolls down there. If this video does well, maybe we buy something with the ad revenue, because you have no idea how much I want some of this stuff. If you're not interested in Doctor Who, don't worry, I'm going to stop talking about it in a second. But this is K9's head. This is K9's actual head that was used in a variety of the old school Doctor Who episodes between the 70s and the 80s. Wait there, wait there. My parents got me this canine toy for Christmas about 14 years ago. Can you imagine if we owned the real thing? I think he still does stuff actually. Ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> but the trouble is, this one's 15 grand. That's somewhere close to about $18,000 if you're in the US. So obviously there's some incredibly expensive stuff on here. So here we can look at stuff that's already sold. Look at this. It's Marty McFly's hoverboard from Back to the Future Part 2. Now unfortunately on this website if something's sold it doesn't say how much it went for but this must have gone for thousands surely. The actual hoverboard. That is just so cool isn't it? Can you imagine owning? The I like it a lot. <laughs> so I really like Harry Potter. So I've searched in Harry Potter and there isn't very much. There is this though which is amazing. This already sold as well but it's one of Harry's Hogwarts invitations which would just be an amazing thing to have in a frame wouldn't it? I assume obviously because they used so many in the first film there's probably quite a few of these in circulation in various places but wouldn't that just be such an amazing collector's item? So this is another website I found this one's called Prop Store and it seems to have a lot more stuff on it. Look at all of the different films so feel free to come and have a browse yourself because obviously there's going to be certain films here that you really like that I perhaps am not as interested in but what I've done is I've sorted by highest to lowest just so we can see the most expensive stuff on there. So look at this 59,900 95 pounds. Add to your cart. <laughs> It's Judge Dredd, a full-size ABC warrior robot with animatronic remote control head. So I've not seen Judge Dredd, but here we can look at the actual... Look at... Oh my god! Look at his mouth moving around! <laughs> and I assume he's like human size as well. That is ridiculous. This flamethrower from Aliens, the 1986 sci-fi film, that is going for £29,000. So I don't know exactly how this works. It seems like these prices are fixed, but I don't know if you can necessarily try and bargain with them a little bit. <laughs> £7,000. Skinned Predator Remains. This is a skinned predator from the film Alien vs Predator. <laughs> Where are you going to put that? <laughs> Imagine that just sat on the sofa next to K9 behind me. <laughs> so I was showing Becky this website and she absolutely loves Lord of the Rings. So we had a look for Lord of the Rings and um, it's not great. There was an official schedule that the production crew used during Fellowship of the Ring. So obviously that's pretty cool. That's sold, but currently still available for all you Lord of the Rings fans out there. We've got uh, some bits of leather and a bit of fur that was used on some of the orc costumes. <laughs> Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. <laughs> Yeah, 
look at that little bit of fur. <laughs> so it's not from this Orakai in particular, it's just from one of the many Orc extras. And all these priceless materials, you know, these two bits of grubby leather, a bit of string, that nice bit of fur, that could be yours for just £445. But... Fellowship of the Ring is known as one of the greatest films of all time, so I suppose that price is kind of warranted. There is also an Orakai glove going for £1,500, so I don't think it's this glove in particular. I think it's one of the background Orakai's gloves. <laughs> that would be pretty cool to own, but it is just very expensive. But there are collectors out there that can afford it, I suppose. So this really, really got my interest. Just taking it back to Doctor Who again. This is for sale. The actual Genesis arc. The thing that all the Daleks flew out of in Army of Ghosts and Doomsday back in like 2007 or whatever it was. I have a literal toy Genesis arc up in my attic that I got many, many years ago. Imagine having the real thing. Look at it. There it is. How has someone had hold of this in their private possession? all this time. I feel like you're potentially not getting the scale here because that just looks like the toy that I've got upstairs. But the Genesis arc, it's about this big. <laughs> So that's on sale for £6,000 or $6,000, which sounds very expensive, but it does light up. So, but I mean, that would be amazing. And if I was very rich and I had a much bigger house than this one, I would 100% get that and just have it in the hall. Because, I mean, that is amazing, isn't it? I just love looking at some of the ridiculous stuff we've got here. We've got a samurai sword from The Last Samurai. Look at this. It's a goat warrior head from the Chronicles of Narnia, and it's £3,000. No way. It's the rocking chair from The Woman in Black. That horror film starring Daniel Radcliffe. Oh, that is proper cool. <laughs> So it's a horror movie rocking chair, so it, it rocks itself in the film. That would be amazing. I mean, I don't know where you'd put it because it's it's not the prettiest looking thing, but I like it a lot, and it's only £2,500. This one makes me laugh. Oh, it's reserved, so we can't even buy this one anymore. This is E.T. used in the 1999 Progressive Insurance advert. Let's see if we can find the advert. Oh, here we go, here we go. I think we found it. Wait, wait for him to pop up. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> I think we found him. Finally, intelligent life in auto insurance. Be progressive. Call 1 800 Auto Pro for savings that are out of this world. And remember. <laughs> There he is! The actual full ET used in the actual commercial. We only saw his bloody head. So someone's already tried to buy that and I uh, suppose we can work out how much for. They have purchased ET for £2,495. <laughs> Alright, this one was a bit of a spoiler for me. So um, look away if you're interested in the TV show Heroes. I only saw the first couple of seasons and I very much enjoyed it. But at some point during season 4, apparently Claire died because her frozen body's up for sale for £2,489. And you get an extra foot with it as well, which is what's particularly interesting. But yeah, I mean, once again, it's a, it's a cool item, Claire's frozen body. But like, where are you keeping that? Imagine my mum popping around because she hasn't seen us in a while. And she just finds Claire Bennett's frozen body in the downstairs toilet. That's quite sad, that, though. I did like Claire. Anyway, moving on. You can get an actual alien egg from Alien vs. Predator. Whoa, for just under £2,000, we can get Lucy the Baby Chimp from The Legend of Tarzan. We got Johnny Depp's coffin from Dark Shadows. The eyeless alien head from Men in Black 3. Whoa! Don't you tell me that that's the actual grandfather's wheelchair from Spy Kids 2 island of lost dreams <laughs> look at him sat he's having an absolute whale of a time <laughs> imagine seeing you on the wheelchair from spy kids to island of lost dreams all right we're going back on plot gallery and uh we're typing doctor who in again so this prop gallery uh, i looked at their about page and basically their company started because they're huge fans of doctor who and they in fact one sec i'll just read it to you yeah listen to this jamie began pursuing items back in 1989 at the tender age of 13 by writing to the producer of the television show doctor who in return Tony was sent a small prop as a gift and that started his hobby. So because of that they have sold so much Doctor Who Remember Billy and it all seems to be from the classic episodes rather than the new ones. I do like both but it's amazing and I'm jealous that I've missed out on these Cybermen masks because I mean I've got 
I've got this one. Just another model that I bought, I don't know, seven years ago. It's been sat behind me for all of the videos we filmed in this house. And if we'd known about these sites earlier, we could have had an actual helmet sat behind us. Look at that, we've got a Time Lord head collar, we've got a Silurian mask, Sea Devil mask there. I mean, this stuff's just absolutely amazing. Right, let's have a look at some other well-known films and TV shows. There's five things from the film Batman. What, what are they? Let's have a look. Whoa! The Joker, who was played by Jack Nicholson in this version of, of Batman. It's his actual shoes. So these have already sold, so we can't see how much. Look at that. You, they've got for Batman Jack Nicholson written on the inside. Okay, that, I like that a lot. Austin Powers. I did used to like Austin Powers. Oh my god, it's, it's Mike Myers' synchronized swimming costume. <laughs> that one we could still get. It's only three grand. <laughs> Hey, if this video gets 2 million views, I'll purchase Austin Powers played by Mike Mao's synchronized swimming costume from The Spy Who Shagged Me. Click that like button, guys. That's, yeah, okay. There's a few things from Indiana Jones, so I think we should click Indiana Jones. Oh, there's daggers and machetes used in Temple of Doom, and an actual beetle used in Temple of Doom as well. No way, that's amazing. That is so good. See, it might just be me, but I just find this stuff really, really interesting. Okay, this is pretty mad. So, James and the Giant Peach, which is a pretty iconic children's film based on Roald Dahl's book obviously. Look at this. So the film was all done in stop motion and these are the actual puppets. Look it's Mr. Earthworm. We could get Mr. Earthworm. It seems like the gang's all here. James is actually right there. We've got the seagull puppet, the glowworm, Miss Spider. It seems like the companies ended up with almost the full cast here and I don't know how these companies end up with them. I don't know if members of the crew sort of take little props home without people noticing. So I feel like if you were an orc extra in Lord of the Rings you would slip a glove in your bag on the way out, wouldn't you? And then I assume a lot of stuff's also sold at charity auctions, but then perhaps those private sellers decide they want to get some money back. So I guess it circulates from everywhere, but as you can see, there are loads of films on here, and I'm sure that you can come and have a look at these websites and you'll find something that you're interested in yourself. Pirates of the Caribbean. What's in Pirates of the Caribbean? Whoa, we've got a guard's costume, and we've got Captain Jack Sparrow, played by Johnny Depp's actual shirt. There it is actually on him. So this is already sold. I wonder how much that went for. Surely that went for quite a lot. Let's get back on this bigger website and we'll just look at all of the really expensive stuff again. Oh, look at this. It's an original set of Wonka bars from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Whoa! Oh my god. God, what about this one? I've not seen Seven Psychopaths, but this looks a mental. Probably a bit of a spoiler, but Charlie Costello, played by Woody Harrelson. This is his body after his head exploded. <laughs> Once again, it's very cool, but where are you putting that? <laughs> Whoa, it's Electro's gloves from The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Oh, and I suppose they're not actually meant to be gloves. They were they were meant to be his real hands. Look at that. Anyone a piranha from Piranha 3 Double D? <laughs> I, I kind of do, I'm not going to lie. We've got fish tanks downstairs. I reckon once those fish die, we just shove that in the tank and we don't need to worry about feeding that and it looks cool. We've got a bunch of weapons from the Expendables. Whoa, we've got a gun used by Chow in The Hangover 3. That's pretty cool. Shame the film wasn't great actually. But as we dip under the 1000, there we go. Some of these could be kind of maybe within our budget if it's something really amazing that I care a lot about. What Susan May's car registration plate from Desperate Housewives. I unironically thoroughly enjoyed Desperate Housewives. Oh, not sure about this one. Animatronic baby head with hair from End of Days. Maybe just scroll past that one. Dark army demonic armor from Snow White and the Huntsman. That's cool. That is cool. And I like this as well. It's a peacekeeper rifle from The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1. I do think that would look pretty cool hung up on a wall as well. We've got Seth Rogen's arm from the interview. We've got a gun used by the S.H.I.E.L.D. team in The Avengers. And then we've got an umbrella used in Gladiator. That is just fascinating. And I like this a lot. So Becky and I really like Spider-Man. So this is one of the new newspaper used in the Tobey Maguire films. Once again, unlike a frozen corpse, that would look really nice somewhere in our house. So out of everything, it's the Daily Bugle newspapers that I'm quite interested in. <laughs> Imagine owning the Nutty Professor's actual ID. <laughs> Oh my god, maybe that's what we should get. 700 quid. I'm thinking about it, I'm not gonna lie. I've not even seen Nutty Professor 1, never mind 2, but that, that's his actual driver's license. Alright, let's go back onto the other site, and uh, we're just gonna go highest to lowest and see what we can stumble upon. Oh, Jamie McCrimmon's... Oh, it's Fraser Hines' costume from The Two Doctors. I met Fraser Hines at a Doctor Who convention many years ago. That would be an amazing item. Following the newspaper theme, here's a newspaper used in The Godfather. Once again, that's the kind of thing that would just be nice to have in your house somewhere. I've seen a few of these clapper boards as well. So I saw a Gavin and Stacey one, which would be quite nice to own. We've got a rocking horse used in Nightmare Before Christmas. A helmet from Clash of the Titans. The Riddler's skull cane from Batman Forever. That's a good one. And Arnold Schwarzenegger's license plate from... 
Terminator. Hang on, is that Terminator's hand? <laughs> These sights are amazing. This is the clapperboard from Indiana Jones and Raiders of the Lost Ark. Surely that must have sold for thousands. Whoa, Wolverine's claw. What? Only one of three, to be fair. I mean, you, really, you want all three, don't you, to be honest? Golden ticket from Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, there's Austin Powers' Secret Eye Swim costume again. <laughs> We've got Captain Hook's boots from the film Hook. That's another good one. Oh, it's USS Callister's chair from Black Mirror. It's the actual chairs from one of the most well-known episodes of Black Mirror. That's fascinating. Oh, look, it's another Spider-Man Daily Bugle newspaper cover, and it's £495. Citizens call for wall crawlers arrest. And that cover is from the 2002 production of Spider-Man. Up, up and away, Lamp! All right, what do you think? Should we buy one of these props? If you were gonna get one of these and money was not an object, which one would you buy? Please let me know in the comments down below because I am very interested. And also, I'm pretty new to this TV props industry, so if you've got any kind of tips or things that I need to look out for if I'm purchasing stuff, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. This video does well. We could use the ad revenue to get an actual piece of TV or film memorabilia. So please do leave a like if you don't mind. All right, I'll see you later. <laughs>